G'day, here's the latest addition to my vintage photography stuff. It's a condenser enlarger by J. Lancaster and Son, Birmingham. Uh, comes with a, a Bakelite plug, says made in Australia on it. Steel pins. I think that means it was the cheap stuff. The light source now is 150 watt Philips photographic bulb screw in. If you look here, it kind of looks, I don't know, that looks like you could mount a candle in it. So I don't know that that's what it was for. This is all probably a bit customized and unoriginal. There's some sort of a, a stem mount there. It looks soldered and filed out there. I don't know if any of this is meant to be here, but I would say that base is meant to fit this box. It slides in there. There's a tunability. You can focus the distance between the light source and the condenser lenses like that. I'd like to read up on some more literature on how to optimize the performance of a condenser enlarger and what's the best practice. There's a slot in there. I, I figured it was probably for a diffusion panel, although someone was telling me that condenser lenses can work with a point source light and that's the, the optimum for sharpness and contrast. So perhaps it's a color filter that slides into there. Uh, there's a little window in the side here. No doubt you could slide in a, a safe light filter. Chimney pops off. It's a, a light trap heat vent. I had to make this bellows. The old bellows was way too fouled up with rat urine. Um, my wife donated a, a vintage fabric. The center standard is fixed. This is where the condenser lenses are. Little tabs here come off there and you can pop that bellows right off. This would once have had a worm screw that winds it in and out for focus, but that's it's broken off and it's gone. So th there's one of the two condenser lenses. You can pop that out, that's where they get removed. That's the lid. Now they look the same, but they were labeled. So I figured they might be different. I don't know if you can see there, one's labeled E and the other's labeled F. I don't know what that means. Uh, please post a comment if you know what that stands for. This looks a bit homemade, but that's where your film holder goes in. Uh, that's it. There's two pieces of glass. I've sandwiched a bit of 35mm film in there. Some tabs there that hold it in. It's timber, it's very nice. I think this whole thing dates back to about 1905. Now this, I'm sure this isn't quite right. It doesn't really locate anywhere in here. I think when you're printing, you just have to find your composition. Although I'm sure it must perform better if it's centered to the uh, condenser lenses, I would think. Now, focus is here. The bed slides out. And there was a lens board on here and it was glued on so hard I had to chisel the whole thing off one crumb at a time. Um, it, it looks nicer. And these, I backed these screws out of here and every single one of them was put in with glue. And so the head just snapped off. It just twisted the brass until it snapped. Uh, so this basically can't be dismantled without a hammer. So I've decided to let go of all the, the antique appreciation for this is gone. There's too much glue, too much unoriginal s screws, too much modification. So I'm going to make this a practical workhorse. My intention is to put a, an, a highly powerful uh, Xenon light source in here or replace this with a new light source and project with enough strength to print large murals, possibly on, on a Van Dyke brown emulsion. I've tried looking up information about this enlarger and what it should be and there's very little available. There's one in a museum and all the information on Jay Lancaster and Son seems to be, they just talk about the history of the company and the cameras they made. There's, I haven't found any documentation on the enlargers. Uh, if anybody has some resources they want to share, that would be great. If anyone has some technical 
optical information about uh, getting the most out of a condenser enlarger, I'd enjoy reading up on that too. Right, thank you for watching and subscribe to see if I can produce any giant wall-sized murals out of this.